Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem nineteen in chapter fifteen. Chapter fifteen is about the steel cable. The diameter is given, and the tension on this cable is given, and then the frequency for this uh, uh, oscillator is given, and the amplitude for the wave is given. Right? Ask you to find the power output of the oscillator. So how can we do that? We can consider the power. Is energy divided by T, right? So the energy in unit time. So it looks like we need to find the E over T. So how can we find the E? We can see it gives us amplitude. So E, the energy for oscillator is one half K A square. No problem. A is given. So looks like we must find the K. And likely this is a simple, simple harmonic oscillators. So the Angle of angle of velocity is squared k over m, right? Equal to two pi f, because for one circle it moves it rotates two pi, so two pi f. In this way, we can find the k. Now we input the k inside this function. So put the k inside this function, we get the energy function equals to this one, and it can be simplified as two pi square mass f square a. Now in this equation, we can see f is given, a is given. We don't know mass yet. So how can we decide the mass for this cable? Use the density times the volumes, right? So density rho times the volumes s. Cross sectional errors times the length L, and L can be write as V T. This V is wave speed times the T. How much time it traveled? Agree? Yes. So now we can see. And the next question: How can we decide the wave of it traveled? V. The velocity, the speed, wave speed is equal to squared F T divided by mu, right? And F T divided by mu, mu is called linear density for this uh, cable. So mass divided by L. So use rho s L divided by L, we get the uh, rho s. So now it is, looks like if we want to solve the problem, the we need to find the mass, right? So we put the mass inside in the E function, but there we don't know V yet. So we put this one inside. For v, and so for this one, f t is given. So we put the mu inside to get the v. Now can you find that? So in this way, so in this one, so now we can write this equation e over t. So t t cancelled, we get a two pi square, and then this uh, mass is rho s v times s square a square, and then we input the v inside. Input the v inside, so we write it there. So v can be write as the squared f t divided by mu, and the mu can be write as the rho s, right? And then simplify, it looks like this one. Now in this function, all the quantities are given. You can see f is given, a is given, and the rho is given, f t is given. S is called cross sectional errors. It's pi r square. Input the known quantities, you get answer there. The second one asks you the power. Uh, if uh, says output, but the frequency is doubled. What is amplitude of the wave? So in this one, we need to find the amplitude of the wave ratio, right? Amplitude of the wave. It tell us if the frequency is doubled. And for this case, we can say power is constant. So make p one equal to p two, f two equal to two times f one. Ask you to find a two. So this one we can say. Because p equals, so we can say the p is、uh, proportionally to f square and a square,、uh, so that makes a one over a two equal to f two over f one. Do you agree? Because the power is equal, now it is just equal to two, so we can write a two as half of a one. Thank you.